that line. Okay, let's follow along. You go put today or tomorrow. Dad. Uh, I do not believe I heard the sound of the ball hitting the cup. Charlie, you've been playing that game for three hours. Junior has schoolwork to do. All I want is a chance to get even. Well, he's been beating you since he was five years old. <laughs> I've been setting this chump up. And you've been saying that since he was six. <laughs> How much do I owe this turkey? Let's see it. Ten cents a putt. Are we counting the ball you hit under the couch? No. <laughs> In that case, you only owe him... twelve dollars. One time, Junior. Double or nothing. Okay, but I sure hate to do this to my own father. Go ahead. It ain't over until it is over. <laughs> Rap on, little brother, rap on. Watch this, Junior. It's all in the wrist. Not all of it. A good putter must have a good rutter. There is a hush over the scene here at Pebble Beach as Charlie Richmond is about to putt for the coveted Richmond Cup. There's a hush in the gallery as Charlie, in deep concentration, draws the putter back slowly and... Dad. I guess the fat lady just sang. <laughs> Picnics in the park, kids in the car. Sunday's family day, get away. With family, togetherness, and it's so good to know that we still count on us. Oh, oh, oh. razor would you say gives the smoothest shade? The uh, safety or your father's electric? Dad, I know I've got hair in here somewhere. Morning, Dad. Hi, Jim. Hi, little bro. Nothing yet, huh? It's coming. <laughs> Breakfast is now being served at the Richmond Manor. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> You know, I'm sure glad we decided to stay at this hotel because the head chef here really turns me off. <laughs> uh, Lauren, these books have got to go. You shouldn't be doing homework anyway. It's breakfast time. Mom, I'm sorry. Last night I was talking to Judy about this new group, the diseased animals, and she knows the drummer, Danny Dan. And by the time I finished talking, it was too late to turn in my book report on Moby Dick this morning last night. <laughs> Somewhere, I believe, there's a train of thought that just missed the station. You know, if you were one of my students, you'd be in trouble. If I were one of your students, I'd be in chains. Here's a mail. Junk, junk, junk. It's all junk. What do we have here? Charles Richmond, you are a multimillionaire. Oh, Break out the champagne. Yeah, Once... You have entered the magazine of the month sweepstakes. Oh, no. I told you it was all junk. Oh, it's just as well. Champagne gives me hiccups. Let's see what we got here. It's from the Mitchum Realty Company. What is this? Dear Mr. Richmond, this is to inform you that Leslie A. Cromwell is now managing the properties of the Mitchum Realty Company. And in that regard, due to increased costs, 
the rent of your apartment will be raised. What? Let me see that. One hundred dollars a month, Ooh, uh -huh. beginning with the renewal of your lease. I don't think we can afford this. You better talk to Mr. Mitchell. Mm. I think I just lost my appetite. Well, can I have your eggs? <laughs> Junior, try not to let this news upset you. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I had to pay an extra hundred dollars a month, three of my daughters would have to share the same set of braces. <laughs> Whenever my landlady wants to raise my rent, I take her out to a restaurant, and the next day she forgets all about it. Why don't you take her out to a restaurant she'll remember? <laughs> well, I guess there's two things in life you can depend on, Charlie. Death and rent raises. If they happen in that order, I wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> Hi, Val. Hi. Nice outfit. Don't sweet-talk me. You can't borrow it. How are things in the controller's office? Out of control, as usual. You stay away from me, huh, Val? No, but I'm trying. Come on, admit it. Where are you going to find another guy like me? On the waterfront. <laughs> well, guys, you've done it again. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can explain that little mix-up with the paving crews. You see, the two foremen have the same name, Kabaletsky. But they both ended up doing the same job. That's why the street is a foot above the sidewalk. That's not it. Oh, well, then it must be the plans for the Clark Street culvert. I spilled coffee on them. Oh, no. That's not it either. It's the stoplight on Clinton Street, isn't it? I know, it goes from green to green. Not it. Hey, why doesn't someone ask me what it is? I don't know. Why? Here's what the problem is. You guys are getting your summer and your winter requisitions mixed up. So what's the big deal? Yeah. Well, during the winter, it's kind of hard to get snow off the streets with lawnmowers. Uh, you're going to have to redo them all, and if you get them wrong again, you'll have to do them again. Hey, don't blame us. They change these stupid things on us every week. Yeah. Hey, I love it when you make mistakes. If you didn't, I'd be out of work. I got it. <clears throat> Roads and highways, Beaverman. Yeah, hold the line. It's for you, Charlie, uh, Mitchum Realty. I'm gonna have this straightened out in no time at all. Hello? Listen, Val. Do you believe in destiny? <laughs> oh, you mean like when two people's eyes meet and somehow they knew it was meant to be? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why should I pay an extra hundred dollars a month when the place is a mess? You want to know what's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. The carpet's rotting, ceiling's cracked, and the walls are falling down. I should report you guys to the health department. You, you want to come over? Today. In a couple of hours? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Come on over. I'll be expecting you. Everything okay? These guys don't want to budge on that rent raise. I thought the owner was a friend of yours. He is, Mr. Mitchell. But he's in the Bahamas. And he got some guy from the Hitler School of Business running this company. <laughs> Tough, huh? Well, he started a conversation by saying, the party is over. <laughs> Maybe if you stop having parties, he wouldn't raise your rent. Hey, Robert, take a card and don't tell me what it is. Okay. Hey, Robert, he's short stuff. His brains are small, too. Good evening, young warriors. The chief is home. Hey, Dad, what's up? How you doing, honey? Not so good. I haven't finished my book report on Moby Dick. What's the problem? Reading the book. <laughs> Dad, I cannot get through this thing. It's forever. Honey, there's nothing to it. Moby Dick is about this sea captain who's trying to kill this giant whale. Near the end, there's a lot of blood and violence when the whale kills the captain. It's a lot like the Chainsaw Massacre, only with a fish. <laughs> This book was that hip. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Hi, little buddy. 
How come you're home so early? Mr. Cromwell, the new manager's coming over to look at the apartment. Yeah, did you ask him about the rent increase? He said he raised the rent of everybody else in the building. Well, what about Mr. Mitchum? He's always so nice and reasonable. And in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas? <laughs> Sounds serious. Does this mean we have to move? I hope not. I spent my entire life here. <laughs> Don't worry. When I show that Cromwell guy some of the things that are wrong with this apartment, he won't raise the rent. But, Charlie, there's nothing wrong with our apartment. Trust me, it's just a matter of strategy. <laughs> That's probably him now. Kids, would you mind starting dinner, please? Got you, Mom. Mom. No problem. Thank you. Sure, Mom. I hope he's not a bleeder. <laughs> Charlie, uh, don't go too far. You are about to see a turkey get carved. You may take notes if you like. I'm Leslie Cromwell. And I'm Charlie Richmond. Come right in. This is my wife, Diane. My pleasure. Hello. Oh, my goodness. I've died and gone to Windsor Castle. <laughs> well, this is magnificent. Are, are, you, are you jiving me? I don't jive. <laughs> it's hard for me to believe this palace needs repairs. Really? Well, uh, permit me to show you the royal hole in the royal rug on the royal palace floor. <laughs> what do you think of this? Oh, my God, that's disgraceful. And you people have been living with this? <laughs> I intend to replace the whole carpeting. Wait till you see this. This will blow your mind. <laughs> Oh, cover it up. I can't look at it. <laughs> Mrs. Richmond, uh, this apartment needs a complete replastering job and all new carpets. I assume you, therefore, don't intend to increase the rent $100 a month? <laughs> Out of the question. Turkey is served. After all the redecorating, I'll have to raise the rent $200. I'll take the wishbone. We're gonna need it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cromwell, Mr. Cromwell, uh... You, you must be using some bad medication. <laughs> uh, Mr. Richmond, I'm a very busy man. Uh, believe me, I could rent this apartment like that. Your time is running out. As a matter of fact, you have 27 days, 5 hours, and 36 minutes. This is your last chance. Take it or leave it. Well, I'm going to take it. I'm also going to leave it. Charlie, this has been our home for 15 years. Don't worry, we'll find another place. Remember how we found this place? Yeah, we searched all over the city with no luck. Then, lo and behold, you saw this moving van outside of our building. You jumped out of the car and ran in and started asking some questions. And the next day we got it. Yeah. And it had everything we wanted in a home. Sure did. The kids grew up here. We met all our friends here. We've spent the happiest days of our lives here. Don't worry, I'll find us an even better place. I know you will. Well, I guess I better get some boxes and start packing. Maybe I shouldn't have ripped up that lease. It's okay, honey. We're with you all the way. Come in. Mom, if we have to leave this neighborhood, I'll die. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough leaving the only home you've ever known. If they're with me all the way, I'd hate to have them against me. If we have to move, why don't we move near Disneyland? I promise we will not leave this neighborhood. I will find us an even bigger place. Great. I finally get my own room. I won't have to walk to a field of bubble gum when I get up in the morning. <laughs> And I can have my own bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss bathing without having pantyhose in my face. <laughs> if you place, maybe there'll be room for a dog. <laughs> Just a wild idea. It says here that you got a three-bedroom, two-bath apartment for three hundred and seventy-five dollars a month. With, with a sauna, jacuzzi, and an exercise room. That's great. W w where is this? Ab above Angelo's accordion college? <laughs> uh, good luck. Like I told you the other day, 
If you punch in the right codes, you won't have that problem again. You see, the computer doesn't know whether it's winter or summer. You have to tell it. It's winter. <laughs> Now we know exactly how many snow plows we have available. Oh, there are 467, but three of them have carburetor problems, two have burned out bearings, and one was stolen when Eddie Finkel went for pizza. <laughs> Statistics are Milton's life. <laughs> Wanna know what my life is? Why don't I wait for the movie? <laughs> I give up. I don't know how I'm going to find an apartment in two weeks, seven hours, and 23 minutes. Well, just hang in there, Charlie. It took Molly and me two months to find our apartment. Maybe you should have bought a Mac. <laughs> Listen, Valerie, look, uh, I'm sorry for coming on to you the way I do all the time. You're a sweet lady, and I have a great deal of respect for you. Well, that's sweet of you to say, Miguel. Thank you. You're welcome. You like steam baths? You mean those places where two people can get undressed and begin to tingle from the moist warmth enveloping their entire bodies? Yeah. No. You know, after 15 years, it's, it's going to be real hard to move. You really want to stay there, don't you, Charlie? It's my home. Do the other tenants feel the same way you do? I don't know. I think it's time to find out. Thank you very much, fellow tenants, and it's very comforting to know that you feel the same way we do. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.
12 minutes after 7. Oh. <laughs> what they're saying is, who's going to move into a place like this for that kind of money? Right on. Mr. Cromwell, we love this place, don't we? Mm -hmm. It's exactly what we've always wanted. Well, we love the apartment, too. I'd pay six fifty a month for this place. Hey, well, I'd pay seven. Seven fifty. Eight. Eight fifty. Nine. <laughs> Why don't you folks call me later? We'll settle this in my office. All right, we'll call you later, Mr. Cromwell. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cromwell. Bye-bye, Les. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Thanks again. Bye. Nice people. And they love your apartment. I can't tell you how happy that makes me feel. Listen, I hate to see you folks leave a place you've called home for all these years. But as you can see, there are others who would love to live here and pay the rent. So I urge you to sign your leases. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Hold on there, money. <laughs> After what I just saw through window number one, <laughs> We're not making no deals. What are you talking about? Those couples who were just a bit a moment ago, I saw them hugging and kissing and getting in the same car. Uh, you know, when I was showing them the bedrooms, I got the feeling that those couples knew each other. Well, maybe they're just friendly types. Mm -hmm. I believe that you and those couples are running a game on us. Oh, okay. that's preposterous. Yeah. But why did Mrs. Hogan call you less? Uh -huh. Lots of people call me that. Somebody you met for the first time tonight? Uh, None no. of that uh-uh stuff, Monty. <laughs> I also got the license number of the car. Honey, why don't you call your buddy down at Motor Vehicles? I'll do that. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if he found out that the car was registered to a friend of yours. Uh, Mr. Richmond, you certainly have a vivid imagination. Uh, I also have Mr. Mitchum's number in the Bahamas, oh. and I wonder what he would think if he were to find out that you resorted to fraud. Well, well, uh, just suppose I indulged you in your flight of fancy. What could prevent you from making that call? We have a list. That's right, Monty. We do happen to have a list. Uh -huh. I don't believe this. More candy. This mm. one's from the Frumpkins. You know, everybody in the building is talking about what you did yesterday, Dad. You are a real hero, right? Right. Dad, did you really see the license plates from the window? I couldn't even see the car. <laughs> right, Sherlock Richmond. Yeah, let's celebrate with some candy. I don't even want you to look at it. We got enough candy here to keep our Dennis in Cadillacs for the rest of his life. I got something else for you, Charlie. Well, why don't we just wait till the kids go to bed? It's a telegram from Mr. Mitchum. Didn't read it. Okay. It says, Dear Charlie, thank you for the phone call. Your rent increase will be only $35. Yeah! And we'll be redecorating all the apartments by the end of the month. Oh, yeah. boy. Your old friend, Malcolm Mitchum. That's my buddy. Oh, yeah. That's my buddy. No, Dad, you're a legend. I'm so proud of you, I don't know what to say. How about, I love you? Oh, I say that all the time. You don't hear me complaining, do you? <laughs> Come on. You know, it's true what they say. Power is sexy. It's gonna get worse, too. <laughs> <laughs>